The United States Army today is a professional military team prepared to respond swiftly and effectively on any level of Army operations. The multi-mission capability of the Army, tested in many crises since World War II, met new and severe challenges in 1965. In the Dominican Republic, less than one week after U.S. troops were ordered into Santo Domingo at the request of the strife-torn Caribbean country, two brigades of the 82nd Airborne Division were flown in. This operation provided a real test of the Army's ability to act swiftly in an emergency. In Vietnam, U.S. assistance, advisory in nature since 1954, now demanded additional personnel and equipment on a scale to meet growing and bolder communist aggression. The flexible nature of the Army force structure allowed for swift deployment of troops best suited for operations in the area. First major Army combat unit sent to Vietnam was the 173rd Airborne Brigade deployed from Okinawa. From Army bases in the United States came additional troop elements, a brigade of the 101st Airborne Division. Troops of the 1st Infantry Division, the famed Big Red One. And the 1st Cavalry Division Air Mobile, a new and dynamic concept in combat forces. The Air Mobile Division, with its own organic aircraft and aerial weapon systems, is particularly adaptable to operations in rough terrain. To help in the logistical support of U.S. combat forces in Vietnam, Army engineers are building new base facilities at Kamran Bay on the South China Sea. Other base facilities are being developed elsewhere in South Vietnam. The pace of our buildup in Vietnam is steadily rising to meet our nation's commitments in the area. immediate military goal is to help the forces of South Vietnam achieve the initiative and expand their area of control. We do not know the scope of Army operations yet to come. We do know that whenever the Army is called upon and wherever it must go, the United States soldier must be prepared. is not the largest army in the world, but it is qualitatively one of the best military land forces in history. The effort necessary to maintain it reflects the importance our nation places on the security of the free world. as he always has to the call of his country. The American soldier today is carrying out with skill and determination his missions unlimited. <laughs>